welcome 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 i am the empress welcome back guys if you're new to the channel welcome 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 go ahead and click the bell to subscribe so you won't miss out on future videos this is going to be a read for um virgo moon okay so you have a moon in virgo you can utilize this video um and let's see what we get okay we got one that's jumping out already so you're very close to achieving your goal a win-win outcome is in the forecast okay so there's a situation that is um a win-win situation for you okay um it's, it's like there's no way that you can lose um you're going to have all the resources like you're kind of like the magician energy. You're going to have everything that you need to get to what to achieve the goal that you're looking for. You're very close to achieving your goals. Okay. Wow. All right. Let's see what's going on here. This is for Virgo Moon. Virgo Moon. Okay. So we have hold your vision. Hold your vision. And we have a fiery climax approaches. Okay, all right. Meditate and contemplate. Oh, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Don't let your past hold you back. But look at this. Meditate and contemplate is at the bottom of the deck. And right under that, we have the end of a tough cycle is approaching. So you guys are getting ready to come out of um, a situation that no longer serves you and getting ready to go into um, a situation that is more fulfilling, that is more of a win-win. Um, and there's a fiery energy that's coming in. Like I'm getting like Ace of Wands, like a new start, a new beginning, something that you're passionate in. Um, this is like a new fiery start and fiery ending <laughs> all right so let's see what else we get for you guys give me present energy virgo moon energy virgo moon energy all right so we have fulfillment what i told you like this is a wish fulfillment okay so you're very close to achieving your goal. Like, there's a goal that you're trying to achieve, and it's in your grasp, okay? It's in your grasp. This is a wish fulfillment, okay? Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, let me see past energy. Past energy. It's like you can have whatever you want. You can have whatever you like. I'm hearing that. You can have whatever you like. Yeah. <laughs> T.I., you can have whatever whatever you want, whatever you like. I got loyalty here. Okay, so past energy, we have hold your vision. This is staying loyal to your vision. Staying loyal to your vision, okay? Being obedient, understanding, having the understanding. Your obedience, something that you did, you followed the rules and protocols to something, um, and it's going to bring you some type of fulfillment, okay? Uh, fiery energy going ahead. You could be dealing with the fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but I got letting go, okay? Letting go. Letting go. Then we have the moon. The moon, okay? So there looks like um, on a full moon. Some of you are going to be releasing something and there's a new, there's a new fiery energy ahead or there's a, a fiery climax. Okay. This is saying what this, a fiery climax approaches. Wow. So something is rushing. I mean, a fiery climax. Wow. And letting go. Then we have the moon. And focus. Some of you are using moon magic. Using the moon to uh, to get what it is that you desire. I'm, I'm noticing that as well too. Um, 
different perspective. I'm getting different perspectives. I'm getting differences and belonging. So this maybe feels like different perspectives. I'm getting a family could be involved or a marriage or a, a group. Um, some there's like differences in group in a group setting. Someone has a different opinion or someone has a different view or different outlook. I'm seeing that as well. But I'm, I'm getting, oh, yes. Like, I'm getting, like, you guys are really zoomed in and focused in on your self-worth. Like, you're taking care of yourself. We got beauty and self-worth and movement. Um, I'm getting, like, there's forward movement ahead in, like, how you how you value yourself. Um, how you feel about yourself. What do you see when you look in the mirror? How do you feel about yourself? I'm getting that there's going to be some forward movement in that department as well. There are certain things that you're going to be letting go of. Some of you are going to be utilizing the moon, the different phases of the moon to get the desired. I'm getting like intentional um, intention candles. Okay. I'm definitely getting candle work, candle work, um, candle magic. Definitely. Um, there's things that you're going to be letting go Um Possibly things of how you view yourself, how you feel about yourself. I'm hearing that as well. Yeah, look, we got confidence. Reminder, you're reminding yourself of, oh, wow. You're reminding yourself. It's a constant. Something is going to be a constant reminder to you about your confidence, about your self-worth, about how you view yourself, how you look at yourself, how you feel about yourself. Um... There's some of you are going to be um, letting go um, on the full moon. And when the new moon comes in, you're going to be um, focusing more on your confidence, focusing more on your self-worth, how you view yourself, how you look about how you look, how you feel about yourself. OK, I hope this is making sense. OK, so let me get some clarifiers and let's see what we get. I do want to see why fulfillment is here. A wish fulfillment. Why is fulfillment here? Five of Pentacles. Okay. And look, look at this. The chariot. So you're wanting to come move forward out of um some of you may have issues in regards to your money. Some of you are trying to move out of a poverty, a poverty mindset, a poverty um way of thinking. Five of Pentacles is feelings of rejection. And being left out in the cold. Um, why is the Five of Pentacles here? For my Virgo moon. The devil. Yeah, this is definitely like a negative way of thinking. This is addictions. Um, they could be dealing with the Capricorn. But here we go again with the same card. Wish fulfillment. Okay. Some of you I'm getting are possibly even going, um, what's the word? Um, like practicing from having, um, uh, what is the word? Um, what's the word that I want to use? Oh, I can't even think of the word right now. It's like right there on the tip of my tongue. Um, but it's when you refrain from having sex. Um, the word is right there on the tip of my tongue. It's like right there and I can It'll come to me. Seven of Wands. Some of y'all are fighting some demons. Some of y'all are fighting um, against addictions, against uh, just fighting against things. Um, four of Wands. Some of you are trying to... Um, Start a family or looking for a family unit. Some of you guys are looking for new homes. The Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands. Some some of you are dealing with um, the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Are dealing with like homelessness. Um, or there's someone around you that is dealing with that. Mm. 
Yeah, like justice. You're trying to balance out um, just a great area in your life. Why is justice here? You could be dealing with the Libra. Queen of Cups and the Page of Wands. You could be in communication with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, why is the Page of Wands here? Judgment. Asking someone, what should you do? Um, should you walk away? Should you leave a situation? Will you be happier? It's like your intuition, like you're, you're following your spirit. You're following your intuition, but you may be asking for advice. I'm getting that too, like asking for advice on whether or not if you should leave a situation. Um, I'm getting that as well too. Leaving a situation that no longer serves you. I got loyalty here. Three of Cups. I'm getting loyal friends, loyal people in your circle. Um, I got the Lovers and the Three of Cups. Okay. In the past, I feel like you possibly had a vision, possibly for like a group of people. Um, there probably was like a group um, that or a circle that you could have been trying to push forward because I got the chariot card here. Um, but I'm getting that that there is a lot of recklessness with the Knight of Swords, lots of young childlike behavior. Um, or there's a small children. I'm seeing that as well too with the Knight of Swords and the Three of Cups. Okay, and I'm also seeing that there's a lot of love, but I feel like there needs to be some progression or you're trying to make some progression. Um, I'm getting third party energy as well too with the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups. There could have been talks about some, uh, I'm getting like rumors about um, third party energy. Um, I'm, I'm getting that as well as too, like waiting for someone, uh, we got the Empress here too, waiting for someone to, uh, tell their side of the story. I'm seeing that as well too, but then we got letting go, letting go. Why is letting go here? The tower. Wow. Wow. So there's a tower moment. Okay. The three of pentacles and a ten of swords. Something is not is not going to work, okay? Something isn't going to work with the Three of Pentacles and Ten of Swords, and there could possibly be like a disappointment because something didn't work or didn't go in, in your favor or how you thought it was going to go. Why is the Tower card here? The Knight of Cups, okay? So shocking news comes in. Um, King of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. Let's see. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Three of Swords. I'm getting that there's some sad news or some disturbing news. Why is the Three of Swords here? Two of Wands. What? Something that wasn't you weren't prepared for. Okay. Um, why is the Death card here? The Strength card. I'm getting Leo's energy. King of Wands. Um, Leo. Sagittarius Aries, you get possibly get some shocking news um, that you weren't prepared to hear. Um, it could involve family or it could involve money with the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, I'm getting that there's an argument of some sort, like a disagreement. Somebody's disagreeing possibly about money or um, family. Okay, why is the strength card here? Queen of Pentacles. You guys, this energy, Ace of Cups. Hermit, Virgo, okay. It's like something that was, that that you possibly was working on is possibly um, very strenuous and you're trying to find a balance 
on how to balance something out that you were working on, okay? Um, I'm getting a disappointment um, because something ended or somebody betrayed you. Um, why is the Ten of Swords here? You found out the truth about somebody. Yeah, the moon. Okay, so something was something is getting ready to be exposed. Um, why is the moon here? King of Cups. Somebody's been hiding their feelings. Um, I'm getting like, don't want someone's money. Don't want the money. Okay, let's see. Why is the King of Cups here? The Fool. Yeah, starting an argument. Someone's starting an argument. There's a, a moving ahead, guys. Tread lightly. Someone's starting, um, starting something. Starting a disagreement, okay, and somebody has, is having to leave and walk away because someone wants to start an argument. King of Wands, I'm getting fire, fire sign, fire sign, fire sign. Lots of fire, fiery energy moving ahead. Lots of fiery energy. Like there's a fiery climax. There's some type of, uh, some type of passion or or fierce energy coming ahead okay all right so i hope this message resonated with you guys let me know what's going on in the comment section below if you want to book your very own personal reading with the empress that information is going to be in the drop box so chat with you guys later ciao